somebody to, we've never really measured those guys down there. So we're going to go further out and that'll be really good. So see down here where I do have some contour lines, you're going to write down the points and what their measurements are. Okay. So the points that we measured? The points that we marked, but we're going to go down and use those blue ones. You can see them better. Okay. What I want you to do is from the zero point here, so this is our zero, from this right angle corner of the, the garage, we're actually going to go and mark one measurement here that's parallel to that. Then we're going to measure from here to that point. So we're going to have two measurements there. And we're going to go to this point. So we're going to go out to where we're parallel to that. So did you just guess me about where that You is? just try to aim straight. Okay, it's a guess. All right, so I'm going to have you mark the measurements. All right, Connor, right the angle of this point right there. See if you can hold it there. You can go inside there, see. All right, so I want you to hold it nice and flat on the end. Put that right on the oh, corner. Oh, that's yeah. yeah, watch out. <laughs> yeah, watch out for the black there. That's thorny. Okay, right here, see, on the edge of the, there you go. On the edge of this, right on the corner. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to go out. Would somebody like to go stand? on one of those points because I actually can't see them. <laughs> see if you can go one of the points at one of the blue lines. You want the furthest one or, or just these first ones? That one's okay. okay. Stand right there. Okay, now watch. So I want to be even with Ben over there. So we're at six foot ten. Okay. So one of those little dots, six foot ten. Six foot ten inches. I wrote little lines on it.
literally do your trenches, okay? Just right. like this, right. exactly. You're going to need to have those dots because that's on your map, on your existing features, plus what you've added as far as uh, water systems. You need to have those measurements so we can draw it to scale so we know exactly where to put everything, okay? You guys have any questions about that? It's pretty simple, right? I love doing this exercise because you really yeah. visualize it. So the land is going to dictate perfect. how you put your beds in. Yes. The land, unless you excavate it differently, tells you that this is where my water is going to flow, 90 degrees to these contour lines right here. And see how perfectly, look at that. Isn't it just perfect? Yeah. It's amazing how it does a perfect 90 degree to all these lines every time. I can't make it. It's okay, Garrett. It's all right, sweetheart. I can't make it do anything different. That's just the way it is. It's a, it's a law of, of um, physics, basically. It's just a law in the universe that the water always flows 90 degrees to contour. Okay? Then we're going to learn how to do those designs of water systems using this. Okay? All the different ways. But no matter where the source of water that it comes from, whether I put a hose there, whether the water's coming off the roof to a pipe, it's going to hit each one of these trenches that I put in. And it's, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. So when